Book Barn is a destination in the middle of the Somerset countryside, equidistant from Bath and Bristol and Wells. We have approximately 750,000 books in this building. Most of those are our internet stock, uh, stock that we sell online through different virtual uh, marketplaces, but also through our own websites and through to the general public who come to visit. So Bookman is also a destination. We have a great cafe, we have the Darwin Rare Book Room, and we have the general bookshop for the public. Book Barn operates like a huge filter, finding um, second, third, and sometimes a fourth new life for used books. The greatest part of our business is our online market. So we're selling through over 15 online marketplaces to countries all over the world. That's through Amazon, eBay, Aid Books, and a number of other uh, online marketplaces. The physical printed book market is still growing at about 5% a year. So that has an impact on us with second-hand books. And of course, second-hand books are much cheaper than new books. One of our sort of main purpose, or aim if you like, is actually to connect people to books and books to people. Um, and we are in a unique position here in that we can have people on our site. We're not just an online um, bookseller. We do do that, but we also have the whole strengths of the fact that people can actually come and visit us. They can come and see our shop. They can come and spend some time in our beautiful rare books room, um, which they love, by the way. We get a constant supply of books from libraries and the general public, and they always include a degree of antiquarian books that people don't know what to do with. We look them up, and if they have some value, they come into the Darwin Rare Book Room. Um, our stock of antiquarian books is um, bigger than, a lot bigger than most second-hand bookshops or antiquarian bookshops. We've also got um, Books by the Yard, which is um, a kind of an interior design service. Um, so through that service, we sell books to um, movie sets, um, other bookshops, um, things like national trust houses and things like that. People ask us, I have this space that I need to fill with books. And then our Books by the Yard team put together a bespoke collection for that specific need. So we've done, um, you know, BBC TV shows, we've done things like Marvel movies and stuff like that. We've created a fantastic team uh, here at the Book Barn, um, and then we've acquired a fantastic new additional team in the form of Cambridge Rare Books more recently. It's a business similar to ours, uh, but with some interesting differences. One, he's not open to the public. Um, and he's crammed to the ease with books. Two, he works with about 20 different large antiquarian book dealers. So it brings a great flow of books. The software is very compatible with ours, um, built by the same people, so that helps. We receive tons of books on a daily basis. Um, that's both from, um, from the public as a donation, but we also have a collection service in place where we go and collect books. We also offer a vendor service. A lot of our customers are interested in selling books through BookBank. I think people are very aware of recycling and reusing and being environmentally friendly, and that's what we do here. Um, a book can have many lives. We've taken the, the, some of the core of the circular economy with a tagline of reuse, read, recycle, which has resonated brilliantly with the customers that visit us here at the book barn. A business that doesn't actually make anything, that sells things that already exist over and over again, is very uh, attractive. It fits very well within the new paradigm that we all should be adopting and will be adopting. The book industry has a future. Um, you know, it's an industry that is growing and changing all the time and people are always going to love books. And we're quite lucky in that we, we have all of the different kind of books that you would need. So you have books for study, you have antiquarian books, you have children's books, you have just general fiction that you want to read. So we, we cover so many areas that for us there's always going to be a future. There's a cachet that comes with books that everyone loves. There's a real magic to the business, but ultimately it's an incredibly smooth operating commercial business. Um, the, there's significant investment been made into the technology 
and the operations behind this business and it's perfectly positioned to grow uh, at a time when people are more conscious than they've ever been about how they spend their, their hard-earned money and they're also more environmentally aware than they've ever been and keen to engage in a circular economy. People are always going to be reading books, even now with laptops and smartphones and Kindles. Everyone still goes back to that bookshelf and pulls out their favourite book on the shelf. People love books. They always will love books. 